Did it clap last time at all? Okay, perfect. We are out here at the National Automobile Museum, the Hera Collection in Reno, Nevada, live. And we've got quite the car show going on. There are so many wonderful cars here. We, they're, they're just coming in at all the time. They're going to be here till 3 o'clock. And I'm standing here in front of a 1929 Studebaker. I have not seen this one yet here in town. I'm here with the Johnsons, and they're going to talk about their car. First off, give us a little bit about how you acquired this beautiful Studebaker. Well, I've, I've always wanted an old Studebaker president. They were the Studebaker one big splash in the luxury car market. I had an old speed up when I was a parts car years ago when I was pretty impressed with it. Here, uh, about three years ago, I started looking for one to work on and try. And uh, they're, they're hard to find. They're a fairly scarce car. And uh, we managed to find one for sale actually in Houston, Texas. And, wow, how, did, how did you locate it in Texas? Well, same way you find everything. <laughs> eBay? Uh, uh, well, it was not eBay, but it, it, it was in kind of an obscure website. Yeah. We found it online. And uh, I'd actually bid on a couple on, on eBay that somebody else thought were worth more than I did. Uh, well, now you told me uh, before the interview that this car was in a movie. Can you tell us what movie that was? Yeah, it was actually in the movie The Untouchables, the one with Kevin Costner. It was made in Chicago. And the car here's we can tell it was up in Chicago at that time. Originally a uh, North Dakota Central State car and from Michigan or Wisconsin. Wow, and it made it all the way to Reno, Nevada. Now, you're the one who brought it here, is that correct? Well, I actually had it shipped well, here from <laughs> That's <Texas>. what I meant. <laughs> I wasn't ambitious enough to go get it myself. <laughs> That's okay. It is a beautiful maroon car. It's got the big white wall tire. It's got a straight eight engine. And tell us a little bit. Now, you told me uh, earlier that you actually were you know, working on the car and you dropped the carburetor. And it was not a fun event to try to find a carburetor for that. Is that correct? No, the, the carburetors were one of the weak links in some of these bigger cars. They, they were old Stromberg carburetors made out of hot metal. They wore, they wear out. And, uh, there weren't a lot of them to start with, but since the